super super duper. We should be here. Alright. No errors on that. Okay. And I'm gonna say control A, control tab, come back down, say clear. And next we have to issue make C L D clean. Okay. That's good. And let's say make C L D lib underscore path equals user lib stop lib okay okay good deal um this is like it says uh has to prepare the linker for the readjusting phase in the next chapter and that's where the crazy crazy syntax comes in but it's only a couple lines and uh you know it's something that has to be done <laughs> So we'll get through it. Not a problem. If you like I said, if you did 6.8, it's no different than 6.8. You're adjusting in the linker. It's a uh, just a crazy slew of syntax. That's all. And that should be okay. That's done. No errors. Okay. Let's say clear again. And now we have to copy for boost. Ld uh, Ld dash new to tools bin. Okay. Good deal. And um, Ben Utils Pass 2 is over. So we'll go back up. What just happened? I typed in clear. Okay. Let's say CD back up. We're going to type in uh, remove Ben Utils. Okay. We're going to remove that directory and we're going to remove Ben Utils build. And let's do GCC pass to now. So tar xf um, GCC. Okay, and this is going to be another big SBU. So it's uh, about 35, 40 minutes for me. Seven SBUs. And we have to. Pretty much a lot of the syntax is the same as on our first pass. Okay. I said on our first build GCC it installed a couple of internal system headers. Normally one of them, blah blah blah, will turn will in turn include corresponding okay. So you guys can read all that. I'm gonna read it silently. So that's that. Okay. Good deal. So we have to add this here. Okay. And the rest of the syntax is kind of sort of the same. There's some different stuff over here or there, but that's what we have to do. And the configure script. It's actually this time is not that long. Not as long as the other time. And not as many disables either. So Super deal. 45 minutes ish. Say 5 SBUs for me, so that's, you know. And I'm running, say I got 2 gigs of RAM, so like I said, if you had 4 gigs of RAM, that'll take it down to like uh, 2.5 SBUs, I think. To 1 SBU. Or 2.5 minutes to 1 SBU. So you could probably pull this off in 40 or 20 minutes or something like that. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's go. Let's say clear CD into GCC. And first we have to say cat GCC limit x.h GCC glimits.h and GCC limit t limity.h. We have to cap those into um, two backticks, okay, next to the one, their name, dollar sign encapsulate, dollar sign, lfs underscore target dash gcc, print lib gcc. 
cc file dash name. Okay. Let me say include. Fixed limit <laughs> fixed limits dot h. Let's check that out. We'll say dir name equals dollar sign encapsulate LFS underscore target GCC print lib GCC file name good include fixed uh, limits dot h. Good. Okay. That's good. On that, and we'll scroll down. And we'll say we have to copy verbose GCC make file dot in. We have to copy that to comma dot temp. Okay. Okay. And let's say said. Let's replace caret t underscore c flags. C flags equals dollar sign with and dash f omit frame pointer. Okay, in GCC make file dot in dot temp. Um, let me check that. Set replace. Carrot C flags equals dollar sign. Okay, with and um, f omit frame pointer gcc make file in dot temp. And you notice here. Look at the top here. When we say in dot temp. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and throw a new line here. Even though I kind of don't need one because I am on a new line now, I'm going to throw one anyway. And don't let this screw you up either, okay? You see how this is here indicating an, a new line, but this is here, okay? You still have to throw that there because it's catting into a file, okay? This is just a system here saying, you know, new line, okay? So that's what you want to do. The first time I did um, that, I got a little off track on that. So we'll say into GCC make file dot in. Okay, and then we'll say we have to throw, I have to change the location of GCC's uh, default dynamic linker to the one used in tools. So we'll say for file in new line dollar sign find GCC config dash name dash no dash linux 64 dot h dash o dash name linux dot h dash o dash name sys v 4 dot h okay check it and say find gcc Fig name Linux dot each. Okay, show this name. It's good. It's good. Okay. And let's say do. Copy do verbose dollar sign file comma dot bridge. Okay. I'll scroll down. And we'll say bring that in, we'll say said E um, hmm. Can I say new line now? Okay, and I'm gonna say wait that because I, I, I skipped too much there. So say clear. I can use the uptick the up slash or whatever to get that back. But that's gonna look horrendous. That's gonna look horrendous for me. That's gonna be horrendous. So sometimes that happens when your fingers don't work properly. 
So we can take it back to the four. Okay, and it will not be long. Let's take four, file, four, file, and Take dollar sign, encapsulate, find, GCC, config, dash name, Linux, 64.h, dash o dash name, Linux dot h, dash o dash name, sys v4 dot h, Say do. I'm going to copy uv dollar sign file capsule common dot ridge. Okay. Create a new line or we'll scroll down. I'm saying we'll say said i or said e s. At. We want to replace lib escape valve. 64. Make sure you do that right. And we're going to say question mark and escape out 32 escape question forward slash LD and we'll say at. We're going to replace all that with tools and at. Okay, let's check that out. SETI, okay, escape 64, escape 32, escape question, escape question again, and say LD at, place that with tools and at G. Good. I'll keep this, actually, we won't keep this. We'll say said place user at with uh, tools at G. Okay, that's good. We'll say dollar sign file dollar sign file dot rich into dollar sign file. Okay, that's good. All right, and then we'll drop and we'll say echo single quote. Okay, and we'll say undefined standard underscore start file underscore prefix underscore one. Okay, undefined standard underscore start file underscore prefix underscore two. Okay. Define standard underscore start file underscore prefix underscore one space double double fill it in say tools lib and let's say define standard underscore start file underscore prefix underscore two double double single into dollar sign file okay tail end we'll say touch dollar sign file dot ridge and let's say done okay good deal same as we did in the first pass, um, just with a couple of added features. Okay, and now let's say tar jxf um, mpfr. Okay, and we need to move mpfr to mpfr flat. We need to say tar jxf. We need to move GMP to G 
GMP flag. Okay. And let's also say tar ZXF MPC. And let's move MPC to MPC flag. And do not build the info file, so let's replace set i. We're going to replace build underscore info equals info. We're going to replace that with build underscore info equals nothing. Okay? GCC configure script. So we please build info, it's info, build info, because nothing. Okay. And let's make a directory. Make a directory. We'll call it GCC dash build. So we up into GCC dash build. Control A, control tab. Pull this down a little bit. And let's see. Let's say cc equals dollar sign lfs underscore target dash gcc. AR is going to equal dollar sign lfs underscore target dash AR. Okay. And ran lib is going to equal dollar sign lfs target dash say up GCC forward slash configure we want to say pre prefix equals tools and we want to say with local prefix equals tools Prefix equals tools with local prefix equals tools with native system header dir. It's going to equal tools and include. Okay, native system header dir, native system header dir, tools include. Enable. Enable cloakal equals g and u. Okay. Control A, control tab, pull that down. And we'll say enable shared. Enable threads equals POSIX. Say enable double underscores there, okay? Double underscores CXA underscore A exit. Okay? Good. We'll say enable CXA exit threads equals POSIX. Enable languages. equals C and C++, okay? That's not literally an and, but you know what I'm saying. Comma. Okay, and we'll say disable libstdcxx dash pch st lib libstdcxx dash pch going to say disable disable multi lib okay disable boot strap and disable 
Lib Gomp or GOMP. Good. With MPFR dash include equals dollar sign present working directory. Let's say forward slash backup in the GCC dash four point seven point two. All wrong on that one. That was terrible. 4.7.2 MPFR forward slash source. Okay, let me check that out because my fingers are not working. With MPFR include equals dollars and present order delivery. Okay, okay, okay. And let's say with with MP F R it's going to equal lib equals dollar sign caps the present working directory forward slash MP F R forward slash source dot libs. Okay, let's go. configure and as I said before watch your make make installs but you can do that here okay this is going to be a make and make install okay this is going to be kind of lengthy um, I think it's 7 SPUs right 7 SPUs yeah All right, GCC is one of the bigger um, bigger programs like this where you have a lot of uh, syntax and whatnot like that so you know this is about as worse as it gets as far as the programs go um, to you know configure and set up and everything else like that but after we hit the readjusting the tool chain things tend to just slow down a little bit and it's a lot of make make installs not even a lot as far as configure scripts go and all that other stuff and even actually when we go ahead and we actually start to build our LFS inside of the uh, inside of the CH root and our, our um, when we're on the other side, okay. After we create our package structure or directory structure, after that, even these programs seem to slow down a little bit, and they really don't um, add too many configuration um, ticks, you know. So that's okay. So um, next we have to link GCC to tools bin CC. So um, that's sort of what we have to do there, so don't get rid of the directory, and we have to pull another sanity check. And after that, we should be kind of good. Kind of good. Okay, so, hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.